tonight, a South Metro community wants to do more to help protect turtles. And to do so, Bloomington wants to build a fence more than a mile long. Gordon Severson explains. I didn't come across any turtles here in Bloomington, but I did come across this sign right here that says slow down for turtles. City officials tell me it's a big problem in this area with all the lakes and ponds. There's a lot of movement with the turtles going from one lake to another. This right here is probably the biggest problem here in the city. This is Bush Lake Road. City officials say the turtles will often cross this street here, putting not only the turtles, but the drivers in danger. You know, this is a road safety issue. You may not think of a turtle causing damage to your vehicle when you hit it, but MnDOT says the issue is when drivers swerve to avoid them or get out of the car to help them cross the street. We've had fatalities in Minnesota and surrounding states where people swerve or stop abruptly and people uh, then get into car crashes. MnDOT wildlife ecologist Christopher Smith says that's why turtle fences have already been installed in a handful of communities like Waconia, Excelsior, and Egan. And now, Bloomington. The grant request is going to be for $300,000. The city is looking for federal funding to build a one-mile-long chain-link fence along Bush Lake Road. The fence they have right now is made out of fabric, and city officials say it's wearing out, and it's not a long-term solution to this problem. There are just a number of wetlands that are kind of adjacent to the road on both sides. You know, they, their instinct is to kind of go, go back and nest where they, you know, kind of where they came from. The city will submit their grant application next week. The city is also looking at a more permanent solution down the road, working with Hennepin County to possibly install tunnels for the turtles the next time they rebuild Bush Lake Road. So some areas where they can cross under the road, thereby you know removing them from the road altogether. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.